I teach you touch typing on the keyboard. Part 3. The Secrets of that Keyboard When you look at the complete keyboard, and it's foreshortened here, there are three parts. There's the alphabet keyboard, and we've done that. There's the number pad. We'll look at that. And then there are 33 other buttons, plus three lights. We'll look at all of those. In this lesson, I teach you fingering for control, ORT, ORT graphic, all those F keys, ESCAPE, and ENTER, plus BACKSPACE. There's also Windows 1, Windows 2, and MENU. OK. On a typewriter with a carriage that moved along, you needed to press hard to make the key, the letters hit the carriage. Here's the fingering for enter or return carriage as it used to be called. There's the enter button. And what you're using is the little finger on your right hand. When people were learning on a typewriter, they had to hit the bar, arrow pointing to it, to get the carriage to return. Now when you type, the letters come up on a computer screen and they move lines automatically. Unless you press the enter, return, then you start a new line. The control keys work with different letters doing different things. They're sometimes typed with small fingers or the first finger on each hand. Here are the control keys. If you want any keys in this half of the keyboard, you need to press this control button. If you want any keys on the left side of the keyboard, you need to hit this control button. So let's have a look at that again. You want orange, you press the orange control button. You want green, you just press the green control button. Now, let's have a look at some of these. Control C will copy whatever is highlighted. Control V will paste that copied item. And it isn't there, but Control X will cut that particular item. Control B turns things bold. Control S will save work on some programs. Control P will print a page of text for you text or pictures, print a page. Control square brackets will make the letters bigger. So you press control square bracket and type, start typing and it'll make, or you highlight the text and press control square bracket and to make it larger. The more you press the bracket, the larger it gets. Control square bracket the other way will make things smaller. Control K will give you a chance to write in a hyperlink. Control F will give you find. So if you're lost or you're thinking, where did I have that? You can press Control F, write in what you're looking for, and it will find it for you. Finally on this, Control G will group pictures or shapes together. Now this is an example where experimenting is good. Some fingers work very hard. 
the little fingers on each hand. If you look at the right hand, the little finger is expected to reach for all things. If you look at the left hand, the orange arrows point to the things that the little finger is expected to reach. Remember you can keep your finger on the F key for the left hand and the J key for the right hand while you're stretching with the little finger. F keys do different things with different programs. They are so far away that you should type them with the first finger of each hand. Let's have a look. Oh my goodness. What you need to do with this lot is to print out this sheet. But anyway, let's have a look at some of them. F1 opens the help menu when pressed with Windows button. Hides, displays, ribbon, menu in Excel and Word. F2, Alt, Control and F2 opens a document library in Microsoft Office. F3 opens a search in Windows Explorer. Shift F3 changes text from lower to uppercase. F4, Alt F4 closes one window places the cursor in the address bar in Explorer. F5 starts the program in PowerPoint. F6 gives you a split screen. Alt F7 does a spelling check. F8 Enables extend mode for arrow keys. F12, save as in Word. Shift F12, saves Word document. Control F12, open the Word document. As I said at the beginning of this page, you probably need to print this page and save it or take a photo of it. On your phone. Now here's three simple ones. Escape, Backspace and Delete. Generally, if keys are far away from the home keys, then you possibly need to use your first finger. But if you can stretch from F to escape, with your little finger, then do it with your little finger, but that's up to you. There's backspace and delete. Escape escapes from program point, backspace erases one space backwards, delete erases one space forward. The more you press it, the more you delete. So, if you want to use your little finger, do. If you don't, use your first finger. Now, this pad is for number calculations. Sometimes it's quicker than using numbers on the keyboard. That's on the alphabet keyboard. If you press the number lock to turn on, you press the number lock to turn on the number pad. There it is. Some people take their hand right hand right off the alphabet keys and use the finger pad. This raised dash here denotes the home key for the number pad and you work out from there. Looking just at the number pad, you use the numbers as and when. 
I'm suggesting you're using the first, first finger on the right hand for this. This finger goes there. You should use the first finger of the right hand again on these. Now, here it is, just down here. This is this is this part here. Print screen. This is not an instruction to your your printer. Press this button and it copies the screen. You can paste it onto another page with press control V. Right? Scroll lock, pause break. These are tie-overs from old original IBM machines. Or pause break. Pause is scrolling text. Control break terminates DOS applications. You should really just take these off your machine. Insert and delete. In word processing, the program allows you to overtype if you press insert, rather than delete all text before retyping. Delete deletes text. Home end. When typing a line of text, it allows you to go to the start of the line, home, and takes you to the end of the line. Page up, page down. When you're working with pages or slides, you can move up and down pages or slides with these keys. Arrows. You move through text when you tap them. Experiment. The Alt keys. Press Alt with your left thumb. It is a modifier key, like the shift key. When you press the shift key, it changes all the lowercase letters to uppercase. When you press the ALT key, it changes what other things are doing. So, if I press ALT tab, it takes you to other programs operating on your PC. ALT plus 5 or F5 and it works with both, gives layout for your slide presentation and notes. Alt F6 gives you a screen of animation buttons for PowerPoint. I tried copying these, but every time I copied them, they disappeared. They wouldn't let me copy them. Alt to get rid of them. Now, just to show I used them. I chose fill with colour on one and jiggle on two. Alt GR stands for Alt Graphic and can be used for French accents, etc. Experiment. So when you press Alt Graphic with A, you get an A with a French accent. Same with the E, I, O and U. There it is. And there's the French flag. Now, press with the first fingers. That's Windows 1 and Windows 2. Each time I press Windows key, it showed me my desktop. I pressed Escape and was back here. Finally, there's the menu key, which drops down various menus. You can move through the menu and press Enter to make it work. It's not so easy. It's not so useful as if you have a two-button mouse. Again, 
experiment in this case. And this is the menu button. Remember always to return to the home keys when you've typed another letter above or below those home keys. When you're typing, try to keep a rhythm going between your fingers. Go through this video to revise what you should learn. And four, do write comments on what you think. Thank you. Jack Barnett, 21.